In this segment, we're going to assume that a mobile worker on an iPad or a laptop has received an invitation to work with a shared file. For the purposes of this example, we're going to assume that the person does not have AutoCAD on their mobile piece of gear. For an iPad, obviously that would be true. For a laptop, it may or may not be. But we'll look at a few different options for how these shared files can be worked with on the mobile device. When you share project folders or drawings with other users, they'll receive an email invitation. The invitation they receive will simply provide a link to the document or folder that they've been permitted to act upon. They click this link and they'll be prompted to log into their session of Autodesk 360. They can then take action upon the files that they have permission to see. In this case, we see several of these. So we can right click on the particular document and either elect to download it, in which case you'll receive prompting from your operating system for permission to download the file, or alternately, they could use an online version of AutoCAD WS to open the file for collaborative editing purely on the web with no application on their machine required whatsoever. Once the file is open in AutoCAD WS for the web, they can use a basic set of functional tools to annotate, mark up the drawing, and save the changes, which will automatically go back to 360. So as we can see throughout this scenario, there are a number of different ways that you can interact with project teams by sharing your files via Autodesk 360.